Hello, I'm Michelle Noonan from Divi Soup and in recipe number 27, I'm going to show you how to change columns and image sizes in the filterable portfolio module. So what we're gonna need for this recipe is the Divi theme from Elegant Themes, some projects already set up with featured images and an active child theme as we're gonna add a little bit of code to our functions PHP file. This should take you around 20 minutes to complete. And for our preparation, we're gonna set up the filterable portfolio module. So before we get started, this is a demo of what we're going to create. So you can see we've got five columns here in the filterable portfolio, which is reading from our projects. And we've got our buttons that are generated from our project categories. Um, plus we've got one button that's automatically generated for all categories. So if I click on the buttons, you can see how the categories change. And then if I click all, how we get them all back again. So on a new page, add a single column and then add the filterable portfolio module. and save. Now I'm going to go in and set the uh, row to full width because if you're going to have more than four columns you're probably going to want the extra space that the full width setting allows. That's all you need to do in the row settings. So click save and exit. Now for the method. So now what you want to do is open up your filterable portfolio module and set the layout to grid. Enter the number of posts you want to show per page. That's entirely up to you. And then add the categories you want to display. So I've got some demo categories set up here with content. So I'm going to tick those. We're going to want to put show title to off, show categories to off, and then pagination is entirely up to you. It depends on how many projects you've got and how many you're displaying per page. But I'm gonna turn that off for now. Then click on the custom CSS tab. And in the CSS class field, you want to enter the class ds-library-grid and save and exit. So next we need to add our CSS and um, before we do that I'm just going to go through and show you what each section of the CSS is doing. So this is the CSS we've got, it's not extensive. So the first section of CSS is for our portfolio columns and what we're doing is we're setting a width for each of our portfolio items and then we are applying margin to the right side and underneath so that we get an even space between the items both horizontally and vertically. The second section is our styling for the filter buttons. So the first section here is doing the same as the bit that we previously looked at. We're setting a width for our buttons and we're also setting a right margin and a bottom margin so that they're evenly spaced as well. And then this second part is removing the right hand margin from the last button that we have so that we don't have a little bit of extra space on that last button. We don't need to do that for the portfolio item columns because Divi handles that for us. Then below that, we've got a number of media queries and these are for our filter buttons. So they're just changing the number of buttons that display in a row on smaller screens. Um, I wouldn't suggest that you change this because otherwise you might end up with your buttons being too small. You can modify it if you want to and the calculator that I've included with this will help you do that um, and we'll go through that in a little while. And then finally, we just have another media query that just ensures that the portfolio images display on mobiles and tablets. So you can leave that alone. You don't need to touch that. 
So I'm going to select all of the CSS and I'm going to go and paste that into my page. Now you can put this in your child theme style sheet in the Divi options custom CSS box or in the page specific CSS box like I am here and then save. And now we're going to go and preview our layout. And there you'll see now we've got a nice even portfolio layout with five columns. Um, the buttons I haven't styled, but you can do this in the advanced settings for the filterable portfolio module. All we've styled is the sizing and the spacing. The actual text is entirely up to you. Um, colors, hover colors, that kind of thing. So you'll see here that my images are being cropped. If you remember in the original layout, they were in the shape of a book. So we need to fix that and we're going to do that with a little PHP snippet. So here I've got a PHP snippet and what we're doing is we're taking the default image sizes that Divi applies to the portfolio featured images and we're changing the value so that our images are always going to be in the aspect ratio that we've saved them and they will scale in size to the settings that you've put in your portfolio module uh, but they won't crop they'll always display the full image so the way that we're doing that is we're returning auto as the value for the height and width. So what we want to do is we want to take this PHP, we want to copy it, and then we need to go to appearance editor. We need to make sure that our child theme is selected rather than the Divi parent theme and click on theme functions. And then we just need to paste this snippet in somewhere. You can put it pretty much anywhere, um, as long as if you have the question mark and arrow at the bottom of your functions PHP file, you want to make sure it's before that. So I'm just gonna stick it up here. So I'm pasting it in and then clicking update. Now, if we go back to our page and preview again, you can see that our images have now changed in the way that they're being displayed and you can now see the full image. Um, we get a nice filter as well. So that's it. Now what I'm going to show you now is the calculator that I've included. So you may not want five columns, uh, you may want eight columns, ten columns, six columns, and you may not have five categories. So if I've got five categories, I get six buttons because we get one added for all. You may have more or less categories, so we want to make sure that your buttons are all evenly spaced and that they change nicely on mobile. This is the Google Spreadsheet calculator that I've created for you. And what this will allow you to do is really easily change the columns for both the individual portfolio items and for the filter buttons. So the first row of numbers is for the columns. So you can see here I've got five. That's because I want five columns. If you change that to whatever you want, so I'm going to say eight, and then the second green box is for the margin between each portfolio item. And this is gonna be in percentage. So I'm gonna change that to two because I've got more columns. And then you'll see that these boxes here automatically change. The third box is for the margin below the item. So basically your row spacing the third one is the value that you're going to use to set your column width and the last one is for the nth child pseudo class um, and that just helps the filterable portfolio move around so once you have these values we're going to add these in to our css so in the first section of css you've got three values with comments next to them that you need to change. 
So if you see here, we're saying change this number to value four in the calculator. So you look at value four in your calculator, which is seven, and then you go and change this number four here to seven. The next one is to change this number to value three in the calculator. And your value three for eight columns is 10.75. So you change this 15.6 to 10.75, and that's the width of your portfolio items. And then finally, you've got your margin. So it's here, it's two, and this is for the bottom margin, and this one is for the right margin. Now, I've set it up as default that they'll be the same, so you get completely even spacing both between and below. So we're gonna go and change these 5.5% to 2%. Now back in the calculator, the second row of numbers is for your filter buttons. So we need to define how many columns we want for our filter buttons. And this number needs to be however many categories you've got plus one. So if I've got five categories, the number needs to be six. The second one again is for the margin between your buttons and underneath your buttons. And if you change both of these, so say you've got four categories, we change it to five, and we want the margin at 3%, you'll see these numbers change again. So if we look in our style sheet, the area of CSS you need to change for the filter buttons is here. So you'll see again, we've got comments beside, and the first value we're looking at here is to change the margin and we need to change it to values five and six in our calculator. So five and six are both at three. So we change these values to 3%. Next we need to change value seven. So value seven is at 17.6. So we change this 15% to 17.6, and that's the width of our buttons. And then finally, it's the nth child again, and this is value eight. So value eight is five. So we change our six to five, and that just removes the right margin from the last button in the row. So then what you want to do is select all of your CSS and copy it. And then go and paste it back in to wherever you're saving your CSS for this layout. And then preview again. And you'll see we get eight columns now. Now you'll see my buttons are slightly off because I've got five categories and I've put settings in for four categories. So I've got one rolling over to the next line. But that was just to show you how to change those. And you can see now we've got eight columns for our portfolio items. So you can see that it will still filter nicely. And I've only got five items in each category, so it's not going all the way across, but it will do if you've got more items. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You can get all of the CSS, plus download the Google Spreadsheet Calculator at divisoup.com forward slash R27. And you can also sign up for my newsletter to get all my latest Divi content straight to your inbox. Thanks for watching.